<laughs> and we're back with the whole comedy round table interview. With we've got all the comedians here. We got Jerry Caruso, hey. Bill Slemmer, yep. Paul Durant, hey. Dave Decker, and Dennis Worth. In the house. Hi guys. <laughs> Hey, hey, how, how you doing? doing? I think I should have announced that like SNL. And tonight, we <laughs> yeah. have the Comedy Roundtable! Live from Jerry Caruso! Live from Fitchburg! <laughs> Madonna! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I felt like... The infamous felt like Dave that, Decker! That might have been good with this crowd. <laughs> Dave, Lady Gaga, Decker. How are we all doing? Good. Well, how are you? I had to tell everybody that these are not shots. Ah, sure. Yeah. Not like we were promised. It's water. Yeah. I swear. With a little whiskey in it. Yeah. It is. <laughs> wow, it burns your nose. Clean yeah, it does. Does it clears yeah. sinuses too? Really good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I wonder what medicines in here too. Good stuff. So how are we all doing tonight? We're doing well. Huh? We're doing. Life is good. Feeling yeah. good. Richburg, new table, cabaret eggs. What yeah. more can we ask for? That's true. And true. vodka. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yep. Yeah. See, you already had some. Vodka and cabaret eggs. So, Good how often do you guys ever do a show all together? Do we ever? Do you ever uh, guys ever get all, all together? together like this? All together. That's a big comedy show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. a big one. Yeah. Three, four comics. Yeah, three or four. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Dennis, Dennis and I work together a lot. Well, well, people get tired yeah. of it. Dennis and I have worked together a lot. Yeah. Him Jeremy. and I, yeah. Paulie Paul, Paul, me and Dave. Times, We're all together Dave. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody oh yeah, I pretty much worked with everybody but Dave. He refuses to. He refuses? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Is that in your contract? It's, it's, no, they're sitting right. next to each other, reason. so they're getting annoyed. <laughs> right. they, they, gotta, they gotta play nice. It's yeah. in a restraining order. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. a fist fly, just dive <laughs> in there. That's, That's why we put you guys together for no, comedy it's valid. It's completely valid. Yeah. He's seen your act. I got the bouncer on the end, I guess. Ooh, the I, bouncer at the end, that's right. I coming. So, Jerry was telling me that his ideal audience, you know, is more of a family. Family friendly. No, I said 40 and up. Yeah, I said 40 and up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. PG 13. Yeah, PG 13. I guess that's your, your right. idea. Yeah, right. that's what idea. About, what about all you guys? Is that, a, is that a general consensus or do we have uh, more of a range? I, I, like, I like that area. There's that range of uh, age group. Because um, again, you know, I'm married. I've been married almost 30 years. Kids, you know. So. So of course that audience is, would would connect to what I'm trying to tell them. So you tell uh, you tell comedy from your experience. Exactly, exactly. You know, I pick, you pick joke my about wife. marriage. I will joke about marriage. I joke about my wife, my kids. Surprised yeah. you're still married. She has yeah. some of stuff. Oh, she, has, she doesn't come to the show, so she won't. She refuses. She, she refuses. Won't, to she go won't to watch the it on YouTube. No, I, no, no. <laughs> she's blocked. I watch. I watch when she's around. I gotta watch it, yeah. but. And I, you know, I PG thirteen. I never heard you watch it. No, I don't know. You, 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 you PG thirteen's, you know, yeah. that or a little, That's little racier, you know, if you can get away with it, you know. What's included? So what goes from G? What goes from uh, G? PG to PG thirteen, or, or is it? G Just PG thirteen. Yeah, 13. G to PG thirteen. Yeah. yeah. And everything over. PG What's the difference? Sex jokes. Uh, the F word. F -word. Yeah, the F bombs. Yeah. Sexual you can insinuation. Kind of it. Yeah. yeah. In innuendos. Yeah. 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 Subject matter. What about you, Dennis? I'm not going to lie, I tell dirty jokes. Oh, okay, yeah? Okay. Jerry tones me down before his shows. So, hey, can you not do this joke? No problem, Jerry. So Jerry puts the stipulations on you. He writes no, it depends, the upon, the, it depends <laughs> upon the crowd. It's uh, about it, right? Jerry's a complete killjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave's a priest part-time. Yeah. yeah. He does. I could Father see, Decker. I could see that. Yeah. Kind of looks like one, though. There is a picture of me behind my mother's I've seen the picture chair. of you with the, with the, with the collar. Uh, 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 yeah. He said, don't ask. I was going to ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is. A couple of little boys around him. I, I, did, it, I, did, it as, I did it as a joke, and she uh, still has it on her like you know, bookshelf behind her chair where she sits every day. So, her dream. Her dream. <laughs> yeah. Killjoy. Yeah. She knows, <laughs> oh, she knows it's as close as she's going to get. Never. Calm down. Could have been a priest. <laughs> Could have been a priest. Could have been yeah. a priest. No, nope, not me. Not happening. So how often do you get the dirty joke jobs versus the PG-13 jobs? Well, a lot of the bar shows, if you do the bar shows, that's what they want is the dirty jokes. Yeah. I and mean, if you're doing a benefit show, then you got to tone it down a little bit because you get the elderly people in there, which aren't, aren't too fond of them. So you got to feel out your crowd, check out the crowd when you get there and see the age group and try to do joke appropriate jokes. So your there. ideal audience is with the bar crowd? Well, yeah, I kill it at the bars, you know, it's, it's my crowd, sure. Yeah. How often do you get to do those? To do, uh, well, we do them regularly over at Scoreboards in Lemister, Bar and Grill, if you've ever been over there, so. How often do you do at Scoreboards? Oh, every few months we throw one together. We're always somewhere, yeah. yeah. Do you 
Do you ever invite any of these guys? Oh, I've been there, yeah. I think yeah. Uh, you've all played scoreboards. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. I, I did your first show there, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was a, they were a fun crowd. Yeah. Fun place. My, my very first show was two years ago, Valentine's Day. Wow. That's oh. right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yep. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Ah. first yeah. show. Yeah. Boom. Two years. So how long has everybody else been doing comedy? Professionally. Start with that. For pay. Start that one. Eight years. Yep. Eight years. Dave? Yeah, somewhere in the eight year range. Yeah. Off track. Paul? Uh, two years, five days, and about 30 minutes. But Stop bragging. Who's counting? Who's counting? I would start right after Dennis, so almost eight years. Going on 23. Ah, yeah. that's why he's the professor. Yeah. No, I don't that's know why about he that. Tells, that's what he, why he tells what we can and cannot do. The comedy <laughs> professor. Hey, it depends on what the, they you say. You to the boss. It depends on what they say, because some of the benefits, like, you know, can you keep it PG-13? I go, all right, all right. Some say it's going to be squeaky clean. I go, all right, yeah, all right. They're tough. We've got yeah. a couple in church. No, yeah. Yeah, that's tough. You gotta give them what they <laughs> ask for. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. He's not by Dennis. He's not gonna invite to the church house. No. He don't want those. So he don't want that job. <laughs> but w w we had done a show once for a cancer patient, and you did like almost 20 minutes, and yeah. they did over an hour, and they yeah. were a fun crowd. Yeah. But we had to keep it, it clean, and, and, and we did. Yeah. You know, Jesus is on the cross yeah. looking down, we're like, oh boy. That's yeah. versatile. Oh, it's fun to do a dirty show like in a former church. That, that's the best. Yeah. Yeah. A former stairs. church? Former church. Yeah, that, that's just like. Where they serve where they serve alcohol. So dark, yeah, yeah. dark the day. Bar scene. Yeah, no, I like it. I like that that uh, Franco American Center up in uh, somewhere up in Maine. It's like like this cathedral of a granite church from the eighteen hundreds. And we're in Maine. Uh, we're in Maine. Do you remember Dexter? No. I mean, yeah, Lewiston. Somewhere oh, up Lewiston, there. Yeah. yeah. And and you know you're standing there like and you're you're telling jokes and you know risque jokes and you're like I'm in a church. <laughs> <laughs> did they saw the pew set up. Uh, no, no, they actually right. changed it to like more say, cabaret that, style it thing. No organ things. music or nothing on it. It's everything church should be. You know, alcohol and a more comfortable atmosphere. Pa and well, well, Paul and I, <laughs> Paul and I had done a show. Remember the one yeah. we did at the KFC, and the priest was right there. Yeah, three, remember that? Five minutes before the show, Jerry says to me, "It's going to be totally clean." I'm like, "All right, no problem." So Paul's he, throwing out his well, yeah, cards. Well, yeah, that leaves with like you know 30 seconds worth of stuff. <laughs> his third joke was. Wait a minute, what did the priest say to me? <laughs> yeah. The priest was screwing with me. Yeah, that's true, yeah, they were kind of going back and forth, so then he gave the priest a zinger, and then I think I was hosting at the time, so yeah. it was me, Jerry, and Greg. Greg. Mm -hmm. And somewhere between the time I got off and Greg got on, the priest had left. Yeah. So we're like, all right, what happened? Did we do something? Ah. No, they said he goes home yeah. early. They that, said he goes yeah. home early. That's what they said. They said, right, yeah, he... the priest. Nice. He, you he, insulted he the Wait a minute. This is what he said. Offending <laughs> the Holy yeah. Father. Yeah. Remember what he said, though? I said to him, are you Father? So and so, he goes, do I look like a priest? I go, do I look like an altar boy? <laughs> and, and then he goes, <laughs> just like this. And I'm like, ah. I'm a justice of the peace. I figure I can say whatever I want, Church. Right? You're in. I feel like I'm in the group. Yeah, I've heard You're you. You're in the clique. Well, and the, <laughs> the best part was the girl that was actually putting the show Carrie. on. Carrie, yeah. She just, I mean, she just buried her head. And her, in her, laughter her husband, her husband or in was, shame? She was just like, oh my God, what do I do? And her husband was laughing. And he loved it, yeah. When, when, once she realized that the priest was laughing too, she's like, all right, oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. So they ask you to be clean, though, and they, they won't laugh more. at the clean jokes. Oh, yeah. You have yeah. to that get dirty to get a laugh yeah. sometimes. You're gonna, you're gonna offend somebody. It's gonna happen. And George Carlin. It's what the makes best, things funny, right? George Carlin, yeah. the best phrase. He said, "My job is to take you over a line you don't want to cross, show you around, show you it's okay, and bring you back, and you're perfectly safe." And that, and I think that's a great way to look at it because yeah. you know you can go into areas where people don't feel comfortable. And if you do it right, you can bring them back, and they're like, "Wow, you know." That was right. different, right? You know, I mean, right. talk. Right. You know, talks about you know, yeah. uh, for breezing the homeless, and for a moment you're going, hey, "Tosh point oh. Yeah, yeah. You're like, "Hey, that's a great idea for breezing the homeless." And you're like, "What you're did like, I just oh, say?" Oh no, you know, it's so you, awful. You, you go along, you get, it's awful. But you go along <laughs> for the ride with them, and you're like, "Hey," and you come back, and you go, "Oh, I feel terrible about myself," but but <laughs> you're fun. okay. You're still alive. Yeah. You, feel terrible. you went a place you didn't want to go, and you came but, back. But on the contrary, okay. I've seen Dennis work clean and do a good job, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Bill has. I mean, you know, we all ha have yeah. when we have to. 
we will. Oh, sure. It's oh, the sure. comics that say, I can't wear clean. And mm. I, I've had comics that remain unnamed say, I can't wear clean. Mm. And I'll give them I'll a whole load of money. They'll, they'll say, I can't yeah. do it. Hey, Every show has different price. I appreciate their honesty. There's a place in comedy for only dirty comics, right? Yeah, right. Oh, absolutely. It's like absolutely. being a photographer. Sure. I want you to photograph. Um, that just wouldn't have any you know, work. <laughs> I, want, I want you to photograph my grandparents at my wedding, or I want you to do nudes. Well, you could do both, and it just depends on the audience. Some people can do both? Nude grandparents. Cool. It's, you know, it's a whole different thing. That's a whole different thing. See, this is the restraining order we're talking about. Well, you sat next to them. You had that choice. Actually, I sat I didn't know they were your grandparents. He still has those pictures. So are there any subjects that are off limits? When I teach, mine are diseases, unless you have them, religion, which you have to be careful with, and race. Depends. Like, like It's almost like if you're not... If you're not black, you shouldn't tool on blacks. But if you preface it with, okay, I grew up in a black neighborhood, I have a lot of black friends, and so, then that's a little different. Then when, you're you, when you really go down, uh, down the throat and tool on people, then it's like... You pick on yeah. yourself is the yeah. best thing. He's right. Italian, he can make fun of Italians. Right. Right. I'm, I'm a not big Italian. guy, I can make fun Which of big guys. And it's perfect. <laughs> like if Italian, he didn't... I can make fun of Italians. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's too easy. But I mean, those are the three sen yeah. sensitive <laughs> subjects. Like, there there have been benefits, and Dennis knows this too from the past. He d does a lot of shows too. People will say to you, okay, this is a cancer benefit. You guys aren't going to make fun of cancer. I'm sure you've been asked that question oh, too. Sure, yeah. and, and it's like, why, why would, would we do you? that? Why would we do I, that? I, However, if, if is, I have someone there, on. The, if there's is there someone, a place to make. Because I would yes, think if I yeah. had cancer, I might. Yes, I might, that's the exception. I might want to laugh at that, all the things. Right. But, but exactly. wait a minute, that's the exception. Mm -hmm. If you're a comedian, like, well, just like Dennis says, uh, okay, oh, people say, oh, he's making fun of big people. Well, he can right, right, because right. he knows some. Right. No, no, because he <laughs> but, if it, but if Dave's over there knocking on big people whole night, right. yeah, then, then it's like, right. Right. all right, so how does this the guy deal? know? What is yeah, he talking the deal? about? Right? Yeah. Deal is like an old. <laughs> Unless he prefaced it with, I, I know used to weigh 400 pounds. Right, you can say that too, right? But it wouldn't be. just got divorced, right? But I mean, but it's like, like, for someone, there's a guy with Parkinson's disease. His name is Rod Callahan. He took my class. Very funny. And he makes fun of Parkinson's disease. And people say, wow, why is he doing that? I go, he has it. Sometimes he doesn't show it, but as he moves around, you, you know, you'll see the way he positions his hands or he can only move a certain way. And it's but a he way makes for people to relate. Right. You know, right. Right. Instead, of, right. instead of not knowing how to talk to you with sure. Parkinson's, right. you're making fun of yourself. Right. I can laugh. And now, mm -hmm. now we it's can connect. It's not so uncomfortable. It's not right. uncomfortable. Right. 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 He's right. Good point. Is that, what, is that what we're doing? Is that the goal? Right. We're just trying Make to connect everybody. everybody. Feel comfortable. Yeah. Make That's everybody right. comfortable. Right. Dave doesn't Loosen make many people laugh. feel comfortable. Dave. No, I, 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 <laughs> I get I uncomfortable when you with Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is That's, my, that's his shtick. No, yeah. no, no. It's he not. paid me to sit next to him. <laughs> 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 she, that's good. At least his hands are on the table. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it, was, it, was, it was just in snacks, though. That's right. <laughs> Boy, I got a reputation. You know, you just go off the grid once, and you know. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie, watch this in Pittsburgh saying that Dave can't get that Dave Decker. Yeah. Oh, so, is there anything that's familiar. off limits? No, we know. We know. I think, I think every, politics. Pretty much are. everything's yeah, off me, limits yeah. for Jerry. I think politics are. Yeah. Politics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, two, yeah. two arguments for everybody yeah. here. I tell. I feel. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to like an Elks Club or Rotary thing, and you know, to a, just a comedy show, have a great night out with your wife, whatever, and and you don't want to s sit there and listen to somebody ranting about I love the president or I hate the president or or but you know whatever your mm, your view is, you know, when you go out to see Dennis Miller, you're going to get very funny conservative right wing humor. Mm. When you go out to see John Stewart, you're going to get very funny left wing liberal humor, and you go there f knowing what you're getting into, right. but. If you're sitting at the Elks or whatever, and somebody's going off on, you know, the current president, you know, name any one of them, you know, and you happen to like him or not like him, that guy might have just ruined your evening. So, it's and also the other the other reason not to, I think, is that all the late night shows, every single one, Fallon, all of those, all of those, they're shows, doing it so good. They're doing. They have twenty guys, <laughs> they're nailing it. twenty twenty year old interns doing nothing but digging into the news right, and right, coming up writers, with the best yeah. funny. Yeah. And also, you write the best. You know, I, I could have written the best Donald Trump New Hampshire primary joke, but who wants to hear it this week? Right. You know, if you're gonna do it, don't nobody, pick a side. You know, don't pick right. a Republican. But that's you what you be do right. Yeah. That's what he does anybody. right, yeah. Dennis. I admit that's what you do right. You, you'll do both. 
I don't choose so you make a side that way. No, yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah, happy. He does. Right? He says good yeah. political jokes. And how many Republicans? <laughs> you know, then, then he knows who his friends are and who aren't. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. But he gets both sides, and that's that's smart. That's a good way to do it. That way, the people say, "Oh, you're a Republican." No, you're a Democrat. They can't tell the difference. And if you tell both jokes, then again, you're you're helping to right. to, yeah. to bridge the gap, yep. bring we're everyone together, sides, laugh at right. everyone's idiosyncrasies. It's right. tough now. It's so polarizing. People just oh. you know, lose their minds. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, you know. You, you say, hey, I voted for this person, and yeah. ah, you know, whatever. Oh my God! Yeah, you know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you <laughs> stupid. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, Dennis, yeah. have you had experience? And thrown in, it's crazy. But has Den Dennis, have you had experiences where you tell the political jokes and people say like? Oh, why were you saying that to people? I mentioned that I did an Obama joke, and a guy actually walked out and flipped me off on Are the you way serious? out. Are you serious? that serious about yeah. the one Obama. you just did? The one you just but, did? Uh, no, no, no. Way back. Really? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, it's tough. It, it, but that was a learning experience. I said, you know, yeah. I got to do one for the other side too. Yeah. That way, you know, everybody Smart. be happy. So. Smart. That's a good way to adjust. Way out your so, what, what's the worst show? What's the worst stand-up comedy show that you guys have ever done? Worst experience? Wow. I, I, I do a character called the child support superhero, and I was telling jokes about divorce, and I had a guy absolutely cracking up, and as hard as he was laughing, his girlfriend was getting madder by the minute. Oh, Not yeah. only at my jokes, but because he was laughing at the jokes. After the show, she called a cab and refused to ride home with him. She took her cat home because she was laughing at my jokes at a comedy show. And, <laughs> and you knew this because you uh, could yeah, see them arguing. Yeah, I was seeing it. Oh, she was getting madder by the minute. Yeah, that was a funny one. So that was funny. Was that a bad one? Well, uh, well I don't one. want to lose the guy's girlfriend on him, so I don't think about that. But, I mean, yeah, you come into a comedy show, you'd expect to laugh, I would think. But you so you best know. see your audience for that. It's a lot of men. A lot of divorced um, men. Well, I actually do get a lot of women who pay child support. Mm. More than you'd think. They come up mm. to me after the show. They want oh, to yeah. tell me their story. Yeah, it's kind mm. of humorous, yeah. What about you, Dave? Oh, what's your worst show? Worst show, um, two come to mind. One, I was in a place in Cambridge. Um, I forget where it was. It wasn't like the, the studio or anything. And uh, there were like three people there, and two of them were face down at the bar, you know. <laughs> and, and like when I left, it just like I walked straight out, and, and one guy sat up and goes, I love that Red Sox thing! And he <laughs> went back to his whatever. And, and so that was kind of scary. But you the other crushed. one was um, the... So no, one, when no one's laughing. Yeah, I mean, no one's even like no one's appreciating alive. No one what had a you're pulse. doing. No one, you know, I mean, it was just uh, uh, like being in the middle of somebody's bad dream. Um, <laughs> the other one was the Deerhead Sportsman's Lodge in Hooksett, New Hampshire, on Turkey Shoot Day, which oh. means which means at midnight they get up and go turkey shooting, and I think there's alcohol involved, and uh -huh. then they come back to the lodge, and there's alcohol involved, and they spend all day drinking and playing pool, and I think there's alcohol involved. And then we did a comedy <laughs> show where you have to get buzzed into this place, which means the door locks behind you in a federal security kind of way, which is scary. <laughs> then and, let's get the guns. And they put you in a green room with a window like this big, so you can't even crawl out. And I thought, we're gonna die. We're just gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't a hospital? No, that did, was... Uh, that did was, you wear uh, a special jacket? I go by that place all the time, I just laugh. Just so good. why was that so terrible? Because it was just scary. The crowd was scary. There were people just roaming around. It was alcohol involved. Alco yeah, alcohol involved. <laughs> wow. But I mean, you know, alcohol involved is good. Really? But, but too much. Too much and it was just, uh, yeah. you know, I thought they're never going to let us out if this doesn't go well. They're not going to make it. And uh, they let us out. Yeah. Did they laugh? Yeah, uh, they did. Yeah, they did. Mm. Um, you know, I, the best compliment I got that night was the guy taking a leak next to me at the uh, urinal. was like, hey, you were funny. Yeah. He's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> How about those Red Sox? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember you're from Cambridge. Yeah, yeah. And, Paul, you get any bad shows? Uh, actually, my the first show I did with Dennis, it was a showcase. So there was I don't know, oh, I know I the story. how many. There <laughs> I know were. the story. And as luck would have it, I was the I was either the last or the second to last before the headliner. So I'm sitting there, first time ready to go on. I'm watching every other comic, and I realize like two comics before me, I don't remember any of my stuff. <laughs> the nerves so, everyone's worth it. Right. Yeah. You got you got stage. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the good thing was I got free pizza, so that worked out well. And I, I ended up getting up there. I think I probably forgot the first three to four minutes of my stuff. So I kind of started halfway through my set. And you could, could have filled it in with Jerry stuff. And, <laughs> and, and get then, that memorized. And then half, you know, it's it's like when I'm done, I'm like, all right, that's my time. And I, I could tell, or it's, at least it seemed like Dennis was surprised. He's just like, 
and just, uh, <laughs> just, just came <laughs> running fast. Right? Yeah. yeah, I remember he told so me that. So you whooped through it. Yeah. So what happens when you know? You whooped yeah. through it because yeah. you forgot. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and it, you know, and of course, then, were you nervous? Is it, oh, I was totally it? nervous, and I'm sitting there and I'm like trying to remember my next joke as I'm telling the one that I'm telling, and then my timing was off. I had probably I want to say six, eight, maybe ten people there that came to see me, and I'm just like. Uh, I mean, it was good. They, I mean, they're nice about it. They're like, oh, it was a good show. You know, you were funny. And I'm like, yeah. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go through that to get yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, but, you know, and again, it's, it's one of those things that because of that show, I kind of didn't do any shows for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then once I started doing them again, it was just like, I know, it was nothing against Dennis, it was just, you know. It was discouraging, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to get discouraged. So it's the first all show is the worst? Been, yeah. All been Can be, yeah. Show. For nerves, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta go yeah. about yeah. nerves. And and ours and, you know, oh, yeah? The to- yeah, the timing, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I watch myself on TV after the first time. It's like, jeez, do I say awesome a lot. <laughs> Everything's awesome. Awesome. Well, well, everything awesome. awesome. Oh, this is awesome. 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 Pittsburgh's awesome. awesome. Pittsburgh's awesome. <laughs> But then Paul was in the bathroom. The guy next to him in the urinal said, "Boy, that is Dave Decker. He's funny. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Same guy. Awesome. Same guy. Same guy. guy. Red Sox. Try yeah. to shake my hand. Yeah. It was that Paul. Yeah. How about Billy? Probably one of our first shows. I uh, we had done it. It was a ski lodge out in Barry. Oh God, yeah, that's right. Uh, we were supposed to do the show downstairs in, yep. in, in the uh, dining area facility. Um, the, roof, the roof had leaked. Yep. So they decided to put us upstairs at the bar. So, you know, nobody expected a comedy show at the bar, and there was alcohol involved. And, uh, <laughs> well, they're doing Barry. The so, worst show is when no one expects a show. That's yeah, all. I mean, you know, all of a sudden, a comedy tonight, show really? yeah. Yeah. They were all just sitting around there drinking. So they're talking, and they're oh, not paying yeah. attention. Oh, care. The they one girl, care. she was, every time she, she would go outside, drunk. she was drunk. And I think she went outside, she was probably smoking. And she'd come in, and she was worse than the time before she left. Yeah. And she wanted to be part of the show, and... Um, her boyfriend, uh, he left, and he, you know, he comes walking up the stairs, and he's like yelling f bombs at her. Oh! Uh, he wants taking off on her, and I don't know where. And you don't she, really want to interact from, from the Valentine stage. Crowd work is You don't want people show, to be yeah. part of the show. Yeah. 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 She was. Let, let you do drunk. your job and yeah. be a good thing. She was yeah. too drunk. Yeah. Heckling a comic's like tripping a ballerina. Yeah. 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 And it's tougher when one of your first shows. It's probably one of my first. Yeah. It was early show. Yeah. So it was tough. Mine was unique. It was an engagement party. Oh. Me and yours. It was your engagement. Party. No, <laughs> Bob Sheehy goes. Oh, I got this engagement party. The guy's excited. He goes, "It's gonna be clean." I said, "All right, I'll make it clean." That and sounds I did, like a fun engagement party. And I did 20 party. minutes, and the engagement party is like, you know, they're like half listening. And so I get off stage. The There's father goes. Involved. The father goes. It should should have been. They might have laughed more. <laughs> so the father goes, "You were funny." I go, "All right, thanks." You know, and I, I didn't think I did good. Then Bob Sheehy had gone up. And he started tearing into the audience, just trying to make them Heckling laugh. Heckling the audience? Yep. And the father goes to me, the father of bride goes to me, get him off the stage right now. I go, I can't do that. He booked me. He goes, I'll pay you now, right now, full. Because I didn't want to pay you full. Just get him off the stage. So I bought him a beer, and I wrote on the napkin, get off the stage now. So I put the beer down, put the napkin down, and he goes, Get off the stage now. Well, that's my time, and he get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a horrific feeling. Really? We actually got paid. It's like, wow. I, if I was a guy, I, w- I wouldn't have paid. Did you set last long into the marriage? No, I don't think I got married. Uh, I think they changed their mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. That's a bad show. So sometimes you don't get people laughing in the crowd. Well, is there no ever one. Is there ever that one ask person anyone that at this table? You think engagement, do you think comedy? It's like comedy at a wedding. Let's yeah. do comedy. Not right. No. no. Yeah. Not a good what idea. about roasting? Love it. The bride and groom. No. Yeah. Mm. Is that too much? Only if you know him, though. Yeah. 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 That should be done by you gotta know him. Him. If it's exactly. by surprise, it's even better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's tough to roast someone you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Like, you know, the old um, Dean Martin roast, all those guys knew each other. Johnny Carson knew Frank Sinatra. Everybody played off, of played that. off yeah. each other. Absolutely. But now yeah. they just hire comics to just be mean to someone they've never yes. probably never met. met. Mm. And yeah. it's, right. it's a very bad dynamic, it's difficult. I think. You know? yeah. For me I, to go up and you know do a roast see, of somebody out and you're not going to offend your friends. Somebody right. you don't know, you could right. offend because you don't know them. Right. Yeah. I don't mind doing a roast. Like if I get hired to do a roast, someone turns 40, 50, 60, or 70. Then you just roast the, the family. Age. Yeah. yeah. The, right. Well, the family provides me with the information, whether they be funny stories, whether they be jokes, whether they be 
characteristics. Oh, yeah? You know. yeah, yeah. So that's good. Then I play with it. If I can integrate my humor into it, then I'll do that. If it's an Italian family, that's easy. If, it's, <laughs> if, if, if they're older than 40, that's easy, too. Then I integrate all my stuff. But I don't mind doing that as long as they feed me the information. When they tell me, I had to do a woman... Uh, let me preface that right. I had to roast a woman, <laughs> but I'm bummed. In Lemonson, in a church. <laughs> and it was she alcohol was, involved. And yeah. she, there should have been. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and she was a saint. 70. So they kept saying, oh, make fun of her this. Like, how can I make fun of this woman? They're talking about, oh, she's on mission relief. She's helped children with leprosy. I go, how can I make fun of this woman? I can't do Make this. up stories? And I, and, and I tried to. I couldn't say she was a dancer, you know, because she wasn't, you know. <laughs> And they're all saying, like, oh, that was so nice what you said about her. I go, it was supposed to be funny. And it couldn't, you couldn't make fun of her. Like, make fun of a saint. So what, right. what milestones are you guys reaching, you know, in comedy? You know, you, you, you all are stand-up comedians. Is that, mm -hmm. that the goal for everybody? That's what you yeah. like to do? That's yeah. what you enjoy? Yes. So what are the milestones of today that you reach? You know, you, you do Twitter. You go on, do you go on a show? Do you play a certain club? It's a growing experience. I mean, mm. you start out, you do open mics, you take anybody who'll listen to you, you know? Mm. I mean, from there you do dive bars, from there you do good bars, from there you do halls, from halls you do comedy clubs. Mm. It's a growing experience to Progression, yeah. Yeah. get along the ladder, yeah. Mm. So what are your significant milestones that you guys achieved and what do you want to do? What this. milestone do you want to do next? Yeah. This. Well, Discussing Fitchburg now. FATV. We all talk about now. Before we got it, we, we set up FATV. We need all new students. I can retire now. <laughs> I'm blowing my, I'm blowing my brains <laughs> out in the parking lot. It's not going to be anything else than this. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think there is a, a milestone. I think we just keep on reaching and keep on doing what we do. And, you know, we go out and have a great show every time we get, we, uh, get the have opportunity. Have fun. As long as we have yeah. fun, that's... We always do. Write we more, always. do more, do more time, bigger shows, better shows. It, See, it, it's, it's a... Raise it's more a, money for good causes. Right. Awesome. And, and you know, since, just, since we all book each other, yeah. we're all on the shows together sometimes. So you're, so you're, you're with your friends? Yeah. yeah. We all yeah. get along. And that's one of the main things, like, uh, and Dennis knows this from booking a lot of shows, too. We don't like booking people that we don't know that well, or yeah. they, they have a bad reputation, the dynamics aren't going to fit, or that person says, oh, well, I got to work with uh, Paul Durrance. What are you kidding me? Uh, you you know, get that we know we can count on each other. <laughs> other <laughs> you don't know, but I mean, uh, it, it, it's so much <laughs> easier. Dennis does a good job at, at doing it, and so do I. You know, putting together shows where everybody knows each other, everybody works together. We never have any difficulties, and that's what we don't want. Right. Dennis knows it's this. A, it's a support system, too. I mean, we all... Oh, we all. Because oh, yeah. we've all we're had those bad shows. Other, right? or, you know, we've all, you know, gone on stage when, you know, mm -hmm. things aren't always great, and you don't really feel like making people laugh because you don't feel that great. But you know, you go out there and you support it's each other. It's a good support system. It's yeah, a very good definitely. support system. So, is there anything besides stand-up comedy that you guys want to do and/or do, like yeah. acting murder or murder mystery? Sketch? Murder uh, mystery. Murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, have you guys all done the murder mystery? He's done a couple of them. Done a few of them. I've done a few. I haven't, I haven't uh, done it. I've done that. Like, Love it. Uh, not so much acting, but I've done extra work in a lot of movies. But you have locally. Right. Yeah. I've done the murder like mystery. Yeah. He, wrote, he wrote me in, oh, too. Nice. I, wrote me. I was the killer. She was the ah, killer, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. And most yeah. people didn't think. No, they didn't. <laughs> Solved the crime through yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> most, think, most people thought it was Greg yeah, Bogus. Yeah, it was Greg yeah. Bogus, yeah. Uh, that's right. They assumed the blonde couldn't do it. That's right. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Kill I have yeah. a very trusting personality. Okay. Right? You have a personality. You look at me, you're like, she's good. No way. We yeah, have a personality. Yeah, that's that's what we think. Yeah, 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 yeah. we yeah. all think that. Yeah, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Fishburg, exactly. I would just I assumed Caesar you would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right after that. <laughs> Doing a round table discussion on the square tables. Yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, but I trust it's, it's oval. It's oval. It's oval. It's oblong. Yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of an odd shape. It's an It's a fishery and furniture world, what they call book shape. But. Book? It's I know. Oh, look at that. Pull it out. Oh, yeah. It's cut on the edge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, but I think, you know, they all say the same thing. We all resonate the same thing. We love to make people laugh. We love to do shows. We love to help worthy causes and people that need help. Uh, we, we love just doing it. And that's one of the main things, you know, to have a great show. And we, we, we've done a bunch, like uh, me 
And Dennis did one for that guy with the, who lost his leg in the oh, accident. Yeah, 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 yeah. That too. That you know what? They really appreciate it, and they raised a, a good quite amount of money. Yeah, and it's a win-win right. situation. So you love doing yeah. benefits. Oh, benefits yes. are fun. When you can do what you love to do and help people yeah. out, it's win-win. You can't thing, lose in that you know? scenario. It's a right very now. appreciative crowd. They do. Anything, you know? Oh, yeah. They do. They really appreciate if it. If anybody it's sabotages, and remember we always say, Dennis, we say this, if anybody sabotages a benefit, they look like jerks. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, we, you know, oh, leave these guys alone. They're trying to help somebody. Somebody and there we go. Oh, no, there was a drunk table that night. Yeah, there was a drunk table that night. So do drunk Al tables heckle? Alcohol. Is that what they, they do? They just drunk, sloppy, they just not drunk. Just they're just trying to talk yeah. over you. Yeah. People yeah. next to them are trying to listen in. They're ruining the show for them. Well, any one of these guys are up, I'm going like, shh. And they're like looking at me. I'm there. <laughs> and then they finally left. It's like there's good three kinds of noise. You'll get heckling, which is them deliberately like, you suck, or we're, we're trying to like, you know, get too involved. The other thing is just when they're talking amongst themselves, which is like, yeah. you just want to go in and punch somebody. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the other one is what they call interactive audience members, where, you know, you they want to so be the show. You say mm -hmm. something, you know, about whatever cats, and they're like, oh, I have a cat. You know, and they yeah. feel like yeah. so, they're so drunk, they think you and you, you're they having a helping personal out. conversation. They need that help. Yeah. We need that help. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. My brother yelled something out. He goes, well, I thought I'd give you something to work with. I, I have stuff to work with. Don't yeah. ever do that again. Well, so um, that's kind of more improv. Prepared. When other people are interacting, is that like improv fish? Yeah, but no. it, it, you got to kind of. You know, improvise. people didn't pay to see someone yeah. <laughs> so drunk right. become part of a show that they shouldn't be a part of. So how do you shut them down then? Uh, handguns usually. Uh, <laughs> knives, 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 knives are quiet. Fist to yeah. the side of the head, yeah. do it. Sure. Right now. <laughs> um, sometimes you can go, I, I tr personally try to power over them. A, you have the microphone, so you'll always be louder yeah. right? and you'll always be in control. So, okay. Right. Yeah. So if you, yeah. not Everybody even, look this way. Not even, <laughs> just, you know, um, and then, because especially Especially if you're opening or in the middle or whatever, if you go into the audience and it gets ugly, then you've just made the people's job next to you. Yep. Really. Right. You know, yeah. The people true, coming true. after you are now yeah. in a hostile situation. Yeah. Right. So right. Um, I try to just kind of ignore through it or, you know, yeah. give a quick nod to it and move on. But good uh, insult will shut them up. Nobody wants to yeah. be insulted. Yeah, right. So yeah. if yeah. you can embarrass them, they're going to keep quiet. They're not yeah. going to want to get embarrassed again. Yeah. So. Yeah. But most of the time, the rest of the audience, if they're in the front row and they're like saying something and then you say something back, no one knows what it's in reference to. You right. know, so the rest you have of the to audience is now, they said, the rest know. of the audience is now right. lost as to why you just called this guy, you know, uh, So whatever. you'd have to repeat what he said. Yeah, you'd so almost, the rest yeah, of the you, audience you knows, bring up, right. yeah. Yeah. And now you're legitimizing him. Right, and then you're also taking way too much time out of the show. Right. For, you for didn't practice your routine you to know. deal with a heckler, you want him to hear your material. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I try the old trick where if they're being bothersome, I look at the crowd and say, all right, on four, tell this guy, Hank, shut the hell up. And, and they all say it in unison. And then the guy getting embarrassed, like, what? What do I do? That's a good way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get the, crowd, get yeah. the yeah. rest the of the crowd against, against them. them. Then the yeah. crowd goes yeah. against yeah. them. And they, yeah. They're like, jeez, I'm going to leave. <laughs> it's the door. Yeah. 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 Everybody show them with the door. EXIT. Yeah. Do you everybody know. a favor. And it's always a guy named Hank, by the way. Yeah. Hank? It's always yeah. Hank. That's a Hank troublemaker God. name? He's brutal. Yeah. If you're down at like Foxwoods. He's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> if you're down at Foxwoods or something, their code is you say, hey, somebody buy that man a Pepsi. And then the, the guys in the back know. They know to go get him. Oh, you really? Yeah. The black yeah. suits? Yeah. <laughs> Cement shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear them. <laughs> By the guy with Pepsi album. So do you guys all do this full time or many of you or is this a is this a living? No. 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 <laughs> no. Still have no. a day job. Any yeah, comic yeah, that no. tells you they do it full time, yeah. that means they don't have a full time yeah. job. Yeah. I'm living, doing it full time. Now. You're living at home with the mom and dad. Yeah. They're in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. It's streaky. I says sometimes I'm so busy I can't keep yeah. up, and other times you got nothing. It's a really yeah. streaky business. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. I yeah. quit the day job. Do it for fun. fun. I just, I mean, that's the whole point. You just, I do it for fun. It's, it's a hobby. Yeah, it's a hobby. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It's a great hobby. It's a hobby that you refine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Free time. Exactly. But it's, it's just a lot of fun, and you know, and I keep on doing it as long as I can. Right. It's therapy you get paid to do. Yep. To Very therapeutic yeah. For, yeah. For, for you yeah. as well as the audience, yeah. too. You get the venture and you help people out on unsuspecting strangers and make money doing it. It's pretty cool. So, how many times did you do it before you lost any sense of nervousness? Never. It's always there. Yeah, every so. crowd's different. That's yeah. half the fun. It was the same yeah. night every night. Yeah. You get boring. True. Every crowd's True. different. You yeah. never know what you're going to expect. I mean, not the throwing up in your shoes nervous, but <laughs> yeah, still, yeah, right. Still still nice. You owe me a away. pair of shoes. Can I get yeah, this away. crowd tonight? Can I get them yeah, tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Just that little, you know, before you go on, is what's going to happen to me? What happened to you? That, you know, am I going to be up there and forget yeah. everything yeah. I know? Yeah. You know, yeah. And yeah. whatever. Or will they? Or will they hate me? Or you know, whatever. And when you start out, you think like 
their, their job is to possibly hate you, but like you learn very quickly that no one packs up, you know, gets a babysitter, grabs, you know, gets dressed up, goes out, but spends all the money to have a horrible time. They're rooting for you. They right. want you, right. they want it to work. Even when right. it's not, oh, they're like, you know, yeah. it's like being in a, in a bad movie. You, you, you sit there going, come on, you know, like the hateful eight, you're hoping it's gonna get better, but it never does three hours later. And, um, and I think people go to comedy shows with that same, yep. yeah. they don't go it's hoping you suck. And sometimes you treat it like a challenge. Like, yeah. like it's always a challenge, like I'll, like I'll headline a lot of shows, and I find it a challenge, like if, like if the crowd's been tough, then I'm gonna try to win them back, or, or if they've been chatty. But I'll, I'll, I love doing that, because it's that gets your adrenaline going. You know, and seeing these guys work, and all these guys do a great job, you know, doing comedy, and makes me feel good. Like, so if it's a smooth show, that's like everybody's going to do great, then that's good. But I always invite that challenge because it's always like, you know, you always think like, okay, maybe you could sh shorten the time that you do, but I don't believe in doing that. You know, and neither do these guys. You know, no matter how tough the crowd is, so I've seen these guys deal with tough crowds and you pull from your them mental but these, arsenal. But these guys are we'll, we'll, we'll just keep firing them out. Yep, we'll all, until until we'll all win them you over. hit the until target. Heads. We'll all yeah. win them over, though. Yeah. We, we, we all do, and then mm -hmm. this is why we'll, we'll all work together, or in some sorts, you know, we'll, we'll book each other because you know, there's that confidence I have in all. And, and all these guys, as well as myself, you and know. To Dennis's point, you gotta you gotta figure out the crowd too, because mm -hmm. there we did a show in Leicester, where awesome crowd. It was oh, the such, one for the animal shelter yeah, we did, yeah. Such a great crowd. Every one of us had a good show. A couple weeks later, almost did the identical set, and it's just like. Nothing. Nothing, right? <laughs> What's up? Yeah. You know, I mean, I got, I, got, yeah. I got last, but it was yep. the jokes that were killing two weeks ago. They're just getting like, ah. You never know. Yeah, and it's just, all right, so you're going to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> you're using the background. Child sports superhero. Bam. Oh, you missed it. Man. It was quick. But so, it was there. <laughs> so so uh, we're wrapping it up. There's about 45 seconds left. Do you guys want to uh, plug any of your shows or any of your websites or anything? I know you got a website www.dennisworth.webs.com Joke in the Box Comedy Clubs and uh, we're all over Central Mass with these guys. Come see us. Dave Decker, you can find me on Facebook. That's probably the easiest place. Uh, I've got a show in Bangor, Maine nobody here will ever go to and I'll be at the Cabot Theater in Beverly on nice February 27th. Old stopping grounds. Yep. Uh, Paul Durant, so you can find me on Facebook. Um, next Friday I'll be doing a show with these two guys at Comiquito in Lemonster. Four seconds. Yep, Bill Slemmer, find me on Facebook. Keep track. There I am there. Jerry Caruso. There I am there. www.jerrygcaruso.com. Whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Godfather of Central Mass.